is the difference between COVID-19 and malaria? Because every drugs we were given were malaria medications. Dokwesi declared. Media mogul Raymond Dokwesi has demanded explanations from medical experts on what type of disease COVID-19 really is. There have been debates across the world over the similarities of the illness to malaria. This has led to warning against the use of a malaria drug chloroquine by health officials and bodies. On Thursday, the National Agents for Food, Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC, restated its warning against this medication. Prof. Mujisola Adeyeye, NAVDAC Director General, said that nobody should buy chloroquine and use it. If you have COVID-19, go to your doctor. We have warned Nigerians, do not, take, do not take chloroquine or any drugs to cure COVID-19. But after he was discharged, Dr. Pesci, the founder of DAAR Communications, owners of African, Develop, African Independent Television, AIT, and Ray Power FM, declared that he was confused. He said, I still have doubts in my mind and I, I need to be educated very soon. What is the difference between COVID-19 and malaria? Every drug we were given were malaria medications. A number of persons who tested positive were checked in reputable labs, hospitals in Abuja, and were found to have malaria parasites in their bloodstreams. When did malaria become synonymous with COVID-19? Daily Post report that for now, the only authorized treatment for the pandemic is Redesivir. However, Redesivir is limited in supply, a situation that has caused countries to seek alternative antidotes the World Health Organization has said that Madagascar has scientifically tested its solution for coronavirus. Madagascar had commenced shipment of the Alba medi medicine called COVID organs. COVID organics to African nations include Nigeria. Last week, a team of experts announced the discovery of a mixture they said proved effectively. The combination include two antiviral drugs and one immune system booster. Watch the video of Dr. C addressing Nigerians concerning this malaria and COVID-19 pandemic. Watch video below.
but that they had a lot of malaria parasites in their bloodstream. So when did malaria become synonymous with COVID-19? That is good for <laughs> Thank you viewers for listening to this news and thank you for watching this brief video from Raymond Dokwesi, the leader of AIT television. Wow. We always commend those that comes out to say the truth about what is going on in this country. We commend you, sir, for speaking the truth always. Of course, that is what we know AIT for. Keep it up, sir, and we love you. The, the NCDC don't want to tell us the truth until uh, the uh, Apex leadership finish looting uh, um, gallery. Until they finish looting gallery, they will not tell us the truth. They keep eating, squandering. Until this money is finished, then they will now come out and tell us the truth about this COVID-19 synonymous to malaria symptoms. Come to think of it, almost 90% of Nigeria have a malaria and that is it. It's a normal thing for someone to have malaria in this country. Even typhoid malaria, they still have. That means that almost everybody has COVID-19. Since you have said that anybody that has malaria uh, symptoms as COVID-19. That is it. Why are these people deceiving themselves, not us? Why are they treating Nigerians the way they are treating them? Why are they using us to make money? Why are they maltreating us? Why are they telling us lies? We that voted them in. We that made them where they who they are today. We that made them to, uh, put them in that post. They are deceiving us. They are telling us that we are, are, are fools. They are, anything they tell us, we believe. Why are they doing this to us? We made them the president and the, the governors of the state, of this country. Why are they using us like a piece of rags? Why? We thank God it works for you. And thank your God that... Oh, um, you are among those who live to tell the stories America knows better. That is, oh, uh, it isn't just malaria symptoms. Malaria can't, uh, can't uh, be infected. Malaria cannot infect, infect the whole family at once. It can't. Never. So with what Mr. Bokbesi has said, is really right. I used to say that. I used to have this um, worry. I used to be worried inside me that this thing they called COVID-19 is it really COVID-19 or malaria? Um, malaria. Is this symptoms COVID-19 symptoms or malaria symptoms? Even Obasanjo has, has said it before that this COVID-19 is not in Nigeria let alone in Lagos State, that all those cases that they, they claim they had in different states in this country are just fake, that just trap to get money, to loot money from the country and to get money from these billionaires, to get money from these oh, from people, companies. That is what why they are doing this. Look at what happened in Kogi State. The NCDC manager went ahead to bribe, pressure, put a pressure on Kogi governor to lie about the death case of COVID-19 patients in the country. Do you know what Kogi governor did? Immediately he rejected the offer and says that he will never allows his own reputation to be tarnished. He will never allow his image 
to be tarnished. So he rejected the offer. That is what they do. They keep going from one state to another to um, um, go, go, go knife with them on this uh, story of COVID-19 patients died and dying and everything. But if not for the LL, with what Kogi governor says, with the rejection of this offer from Kogi governor, they won't have known that this is what they are after. And this is what they have, have always been doing to all states. They believe that telling this the state any each state government about this, then after announcing it to the world, after the after the donation from different companies, different billionaires, then the money will be shared between them and the governor of the state. But with God that made Kugi governor not uh, corrupt, expose them and we now know what their plans are. Now we are no, we know that. This virus is not in Nigeria. This virus is not. Because if it is, why is our president not putting on a face mask in every of his meeting he had or you used to have with the cabals? The cabals are always putting on masks, but he has refused to put on this mask. And because he's the leader, he's the president of this country, so you, know, you should know the truth about this COVID-19, if truly is in this country or not. So the whole COVID-19 saga looks more like a scam to me. It looks more like a scam to me now. No drugs has been found in the world for this so-called COVID-19 virus. But Madagascar is preferring solution to this man and true they are about discovery, yet the old world, the old world bodies are turning their backs on the discovery just because it is African. Even some African leaders and experts are also dragging their feet to acknowledge this breakthrough from the fellow, oh, from their fellow Ameri uh, African. They should please release us from these lockdowns and stop deceiving us and stop punishing us when they know that there's nothing like COVID-19 in Africa. And let us go about our businesses because locking us down will not solve any solution that we have in this country. Because the lockdown is becoming more uh, lucrative to some set of people making it look as if they are busy doing something when in reality doing nothing other than enriching themselves that is it they use this money they use this um, coronavirus case to enrich themselves to loot money to get money for them for their pockets and the pocket of their families so you can now know the reason why this COVID-19 figure is, is rising every day. It is just mere malaria. Those who are making money from it will not even want to say the truth so that the money can continue to flow. They will not tell you the truth because of the money they get, the huge amount of money they get from these lies of cases of COVID-19. My own take is that we should develop our own medicine for a cure. We should discover our greatness and kick out the white men off from invading in our country. We have what it takes. We Nigerians are talented. We are gifted. We have what all it takes. We should not allow any white man deceive us for no just cause. I pray God we kill all the enemies of Nigeria. All the enemies that have been deceiving Nigerian citizens, deceiving the masses. God will definitely put an end to their lives. So viewers, this is my own comment concerning what Raymond has said concerning COVID-19 and malaria symptoms. Do you believe what he said? 
If yes, if no, don't hesitate to drop your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever I publish new videos. And don't forget, share and like this news as well. Thank you.